In this video, we will work through a more complicated related rates problem. A baseball diamond is a square with each side 90 feet in length. Suppose that at the exact moment the ball is hit, Luke runs from first base to second base at a constant rate of 20.7 feet per second. Our question is, what is the rate at which the distance between Luke and home plate is changing when Luke is 35 feet away from second base? To answer this question, we first need to introduce some variables. We'll let x represent the distance from first base to Luke's position in feet. And we'll let y represent Luke's distance from home plate in feet. Since Luke is running at a constant rate of 20.7 feet per second, and since x represents Luke's distance from first base in feet, then dx dt equals 20.7 feet per second. So our task is to compute the y dt when Luke is 35 feet away from second base. So this will happen when x is equal to 90 minus 35 feet, or 55 feet. To answer this question, we first need to define an equation that expresses the relationship between x, Luke's distance from first base, and y, Luke's distance from home plate. If we watch Luke run and think about the lengths of x and y, we can see that these lengths form two sides of a right triangle with a first baseline, which has a length of 90 feet. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us a relationship between these three lengths, specifically x squared plus 90 squared equals y squared. We can get a relationship between dy dt and dx dt if we differentiate each side of this equation with respect to the elapsed time. To do this, we first need to think of x as a function of t and also think of y as a function of t. Then, using the chain rule, the derivative of x squared of t is 2x times dx dt. The derivative of 90 squared is 0, and the derivative of y squared of t is 2y times dy dt. Now we have an equation that relates the two rates, dx dt and dy dt, and I'm going to divide both sides by 2y to get the dy dt by itself on one side of the equation, and we can also cancel the two twos to simplify. So we have a value for x and a value for dx dt. So if we can compute a value for y, then we'll be able to compute a value for dy dt. To do this, we can go back to the Pythagorean theorem. We want to know the value of y when x is 55 feet. We can use a calculator to solve for y and get that y is approximately equal to 105.5 feet when x is equal to 55 feet. Let's put this all together. We were given that the x dt is 20.7 feet per second, and we want to do the computation when x is 55 feet. And we figured out that when x is 55 feet, then y is approximately 105.5 feet. So now we can compute the value for dy dt, which is the rate at which the distance between Luke and home plate is changing when Luke is 35 feet away from second base as approximately 10.8 feet per second. So in this scenario, we used the Pythagorean theorem to model the situation, thought of x and y as functions of t, and then used the chain rule to relate the rates dx dt and dy dt to solve our problem.